In Lumen Circles, we frame our work by setting goals. Hi, I'm Lisa Levinson, one of the Lumen Circles facilitators. Nice to meet you. In this quick video, I'll walk you through how to add and edit goals in your Lumen Circle profile. Our goals are found in your profile, and you can get to your profile by either clicking on your name, and I've signed in as Rachel Lands. So I would either click here, um, you can see that uh, Rachel's name is, is linked, or go here to the upper right to Rachel's picture, and you'll see here's a down arrow. You click on the down arrow and click on profile. One of the tabs in your profile is goals, so click on that. Rachel already has two goals that she has um, created, but Let's add another one. So to add one, you click on the add. You type in what the goal is, and this is going to use quick assessments to gauge student learning. I'm going to want to do that you know, pretty quickly. So I'm going to say that I want to do it by the end of the fellowship, which is around October 31st for me. And I know that a tag that, uh, or evidence-based instructional practice that relates to this goal is definitely assessment. And then it's going to ask you, did any of the ideas in your idea drawer, which is down here, match this uh, or contribute to a achieving this goal? And not really. So I'm just going to click Save. And then I'm going to make sure that this is what I want my goal to say, which it is. And remember, you want to create SMART goals, which are specific, measurable, achievable or attainable, relevant, and timely or time-bound. And this seems to um, meet all those criteria. Now I'm going to go back to the goal list. And let's say I want to edit my goal because I see um, that I want to add a tag to this goal because it mentions community and I see caring and but I want to put in um, also the tag community building. So I click on this arrow. I click on edit and I'm going to click on community building. And I can add to this a sense of belonging and connection to each other. And again, I don't think this these two ideas relate to my goal, so I'm going to say not check these two boxes. And I'm going to click Save. If these ideas did relate to my goal, I would check this and you can see it highlights it. And then I'm going to click Save. And again, go back to the goal list because I am see this is create a positive classroom community where students feel comfortable and a sense of belonging and connection to each other. That looks good to me. And here you can see that my edit appears because the goal is still there. So again, that's a quick, easy tutorial on how to add a goal or edit a goal in your profile. 